Wudang, Wulong, Tiangang, Baguajang. Wudang, five dragons, Big Dipper, eight trigrams palm. Wudang refers to Wudang mountain range, the place where significant Taoist culture has been imparted and inherited. Wulong, the five dragons, refers to Wulong Gong, the five dragons temple in the Wudang mountain range. It is the oldest Taoist temple in Wudang. The ancient patterns and sequences of movements found within this form were disseminated from here. Tian Gang, the Big Dipper, refers to the cosmic energy field which is spoken of inside the Taoist gate. It implies the unification of heaven and man. Through practice, one looks for, learns to use, and unifies with the cosmic energy field. Ba Gua Zhang, the Eight Trigrams Palm, is a style of martial arts which is in accordance with ancient knowledge. Wu Ji, the infinite, gives birth to Tai Ji, the supreme ultimate. Liang Yi, Yin and Yang, San Zai, three talents, heaven, man and earth. Si Xiang, the four divisions of the 28 constellations. Wu Xing, the five elements or phases. Liu He, six directions, north, south, east, west, above, below. Qi Xing, seven stars or Big Dipper. Bagua, eight trigrams. Jiu Gong, nine palaces. Shu Fang, ten directions, cardinal and intermediate points, and above and below. This form originates from Wulong Gong, the five dragons temple in Wudang. Here it was passed down from the immortal master Wang Jidao, secretly transmitted only amongst Taoist high priests in the Wudang mountain range. It unifies martial arts and Taoist methods. First, students whose physique was suited to practice Gong Fu and who shared a destiny with the master were selected. Over a long period of time, the students had to arduously exercise, training their bodies and cultivating perseverance, while the master examined their moral character. The aspects of form and structure are visible and can be practiced by everyone, but the contents which unify martial arts and Taoist methods are transmitted only inside the Taoist gate, not outside of it. The secret magical arts consist of mudras, talismans and incantations, and all of these unify with the energy of the universe. One who is neither a Taoist nor a high priest, who is not living according to the precepts and who did not take an oath, cannot receive the transmission. The requirements are extremely strict in order to avoid the transmission of these methods to people with a shady, dubious character. Those who could deceive their master, betray the ancestral grandmasters, go against the teacher and violate the Tao, use the acquired knowledge to harm others and by doing so involve the master in their misconduct. This skillful sequence of movements, inherited and transmitted by high priests, is seldom seen in China. The content of the Taoist methods is profound and deep. In the past existed the belief that after having practiced and achieved a certain level, one could move qi to cure diseases, prevent acts of violence, rescue those in distress, accumulate qi into form and disperse form into qi, call the wind and summon the rain, spread beans on the ground which then turn into an army of soldiers, mysterious and unpredictable. All this exceeds our imagination. We are here merely studying and exploring it.